Welcome to my channel and please subscribe. Today I'm looking at some fat quarters that I purchased in Pennsylvania and I'm ready to do a quilt with it. But I also want to use some of the paintings that I've done of birds from all over the world, wherever I saw them. And it will help me to remember some of my travels and also the birds that I see right here in my own yard. I will be printing the bird pictures on this jelly plate to make prints on white polished cotton fabric. And then I will use my fat quarters to um, make the strips that go around them. Now I put out a few of the paintings of birds. Sometimes I uh, make them into greeting cards. Now um, I have made this design larger and the same that I did with these. Uh, this is a red-bellied woodpecker that comes to my feeder once in a while. I live in North Carolina, so this is Mr. and Mrs. Redbird. Our, I enjoy going to our coast to see all of our lighthouses. And this is a pelican that I saw there. And then on one of my trips to Australia, I got to see and hear a kookaburra, and he was a majestic bird. So I have enlarged all of those to the size that will go on my squares. And on Photoshop, after I scanned it in to the right size, then I went to filters, and stylize and find edges. And it gives me a good um, drawing that I can cut a stencil from. Some of the other birds are this one, the red-headed woodpecker, it gives me enough of the design that I can cut a stencil from, and so on. So you can see this is the one of the yellow weaver bird. And I may change certain parts of it as I go along. Even though I taught art for 36 years, I have learned so much on YouTube and I have a new favorite gel plate printing and collage artist, Mark Yates. Look him up if you like to do collage or gel plate printing. And also you will learn so many new techniques that will make life easier for you as an artist. I'm ready to start cutting the stencil. And as you can see in the uh, picture here, we have yellow, blue in the sky, green, brown, and black, five colors. When I print, I will probably want to start with the yellow because there's yellow under and mixed in with this and the veins on the leaves are yellow and I think I would like to keep that that way. So first I will cut out the nest and the leaves and the bird, all of the bird first because the black will be dark enough ink to cover over the yellow after it has been printed. I have a sharp knife and a cutting board. And 
you just start by cutting all of the shapes that will be yellow in some way. And I'm saving this piece because I'm going to need it later. And then you just continue to cut around each one of the leaves. And I will show you the stencil when I finish cutting it. All right, the first color yellow stencil is cut and ready to print. Next, I will show you the printing of the yellow. Always pick up your brayer and it turns better and you get an even layer of ink. Now, to know exactly where the edge of the plate is so that I can place it in the right place next time and register it. <clears throat> One good thing about the jelly plate is that it's you can see through it um, at times when you place the jelly plate on top of a print that you've already done. Let's see how this prints on the cloth. Mark prints sometimes on t-shirts, so I thought well, maybe we can do one for a quilt. I think that has pulled up the yellow. And there is our yellow. Carefully pull this up. And let that dry. I've added the green layer on top of the yellow leaves and I used little bits of tape to cut thin um, pieces for the veins of the leaves. Now let's see if we've got some green, yes. So that did pretty good. You see, I have everything covered up except where the green was supposed to be. Now, I will go back and tape in the green. Now, I am taping all of the leaves and things that were green back on so that I will be ready to print the brown. Instead of painting blue in the sky, I'm going to use some corrugated cardboard and just print a cloud up here. That will be good. I've just inked up the black, and um, this is one thing that I like about the jelly print, and I learned from Mark Yates. You can try to line up the jelly plate 
with what you've already printed and then carefully flip it over. Okay. Now. And then I will touch up with, um, there it is. I will touch up with some uh, Posca marker paint markers to finish this up. I have sewed the fabric pieces together for this top strip across the top and then I'm sewing the next strip that will include two of the four bird prints and then the other two will be down on the bottom as I continue to stitch the prints together. I have all of the pieces sewn together and I just sewed the white backing on. Now I'm ready to make the strips to go around it to finish it. This white piece of fabric that is folded is being pinned to the quilt and to the bias binding. This folded piece will be on the back and it will be used to uh, as a pocket to hang the wall hanging up. Now I am folding over the end so that it will make a nice edge as I complete the pocket. Okay, it is finished. I have the pocket on the back here that I will slip in to that passageway to hang it up. And I added a little pocket on the bottom. Hopefully one day one of my children or grandchildren or I even have three great grands might find a little important message in this pocket. This is part of a greeting card that I did with a poem from E. Cheney on it. Said the robin to the sparrow, I should really like to know why these anxious human beings rush around and worry so, said the sparrow to the robin. Friend, I think that it must be that they have no heavenly father such as cares for you and me. So I hope this bird-inspired wall hanging will remind them that they do have a heavenly father. If he takes care of the birds and the lilies of the field, then he would most definitely take care of them. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel.